hello guys welcome back again to my channel thank you all for liking my videos thank you for subscribing to my channel i really really appreciate the love guys it means so much in this video i'm going to be talking about self-love you know this is one thing i know that a lot of girls are struggling like self-love hmm. some people don't even know that they are struggling with it but seriously a lot of people are struggling with self-confidence self-love insecurities all these things and this is one video that i wished that i watched growing up as a child because even me i struggled with insecurities and i'm not saying that i'm perfect but i'm no longer the person i used to be before you need to know that self-confidence is an unconditional feeling of love of acceptance and appreciation of who you are it is just knowing that you are enough you are you are just enough even with all your imperfections like you just know that you don't have to be perfect you know to love yourself i feel like a lot of a lot of people feel like they have to get everything right that everything just has to be perfect before they can actually appreciate themselves and love themselves and accept themselves no like nobody is perfect i noticed that back then what i used to do was that i would try to make myself feel bad for some of my mistakes like if i make any mistake or i do something really bad instead of me learning from it and seeing the best way to do it you know I'll try to make myself feel bad. I felt that when I do that, it's made me want to do better next time. You know, when you feel bad, you do better. But that's a big lie because it it just made me to to just be sad. You know, but now that I'm like, okay, I know you can do better. I know you can do you can do way better than you did before. I always used to be so good. I will do my best. And another thing that I didn't do was I didn't lie to myself or try to make myself feel like it's not there. The truth is that I had the insecurities. I had them. So you have to tell yourself the truth. If you if you are struggling with insecurities, if you are struggling with self love, you cannot be telling yourself that mm, no, it's not there. You have you know yourself like you know yourself better than anybody. And if you are struggling with something, you know. So that was the first thing that I did. I knew that I had this issue. So I worked on myself. The first book I read changed me totally. The the first book I read opened my mind, you know, and it was written by Anthony Robbins and it helped me know like <laughs> that book changed me. The book I the the, the book I read, Awaken the Giant. I, I cannot forget that book. And I still reading more books and I still listening to a lot of motivational videos, a lot of videos that was actually helping me. This is something I do like every day, listening to videos that help me. So you have to tell yourself the truth. You have to tell yourself the truth that that insecurity is actually there. Don't lie to yourself. If you want to attract amazing people into your life, you also equally want to be amazing. You want to raise up that standard to be amazing, to attract such people into your life you cannot attract like something that you are not you know that's why a lot of people that are in relationship they are dating someone that is maltreating them or that doesn't know their words and they are not confident you know i feel in my heart that one of the first reasons why you can be in such relationship is because of your personality because the truth is the moment you start seeing your words the moment you start valuing yourself and you have this self-confidence this self-love you will not attract just anybody somehow your eyes will open the people that are your life that are not supposed to be there you will you will know like those friends that you are keeping that don't value that don't know your words you will be able to tell and you'll be able to keep away from those kind of people you need to be your own best friend the way you talk to your best friend talk to yourself like that way you deserve love the same love you show to other people the same love you are giving you also deserve it so like the way you want to be treated you need to ask for it you know like there's something i learned from joe austin and that is like writing down 
your accomplishments all those little things that you probably don't see is a big deal you just write them down and maybe maybe some sometimes you just go through them it also helps you it helps you to develop that self-love that self-acceptance accomplishments all those things it will also help you you know like self-confidence is easier said than done it takes a lot of practice but you need to make up your mind that you have to work on yourself and you also need to make up your mind that those people in your life that don't value you that don't see your words you need to let them go no matter how much you love them because sometimes those people that that don't really value you you know like you they might be people that you so love but you need to know your words and you need to let those people go and the people that you let go sometimes when you actually like let them go it makes them realize and they change but the ones that don't change bye bye you need to know that developing yourself is like a growth like it's it's like you're growing you don't just settle like it's something that you keep doing to keep growing another key component of loving yourself is learning how to say no a lot of people don't know how to say no even me like i didn't really know how to say no before i think i've said this in one of my videos not until i watched oprah winfrey's video like there was a video she did and she was like explaining that she too like it was so hard for her to say no as a business owner like there was a time that someone called her and then to do something and she said no like she was just expecting this type of response from the person and the person said okay you know like but i thought about it for me personally it was hard for me to say no like not that it's hard to say no but it's the fact that when you say no to someone you start feeling bad like there's a part of you that will be feeling bad you know i didn't know that that was a challenge you know but i still learning how to say no and to be okay with it you know i learned that you don't have to explain to anyone why you are making yourself a priority you know like this is a way of you teaching people how to treat you you know when you truly love yourself you work so hard on your goals you work on your dreams you will believe in yourself and then you will try to avoid all those people that look down on you you know all you will not even want to hang around those kind of people that that try to always bring you down start making the changes that you need to make today forgive your past you know your mistakes all those mistakes that you made forgive yourself and show gratitude for who you are be grateful for who you are now show gratitude for what you have you know and do something do something every day that make you happy be kind to the people around you be kind to people show love to people you know anyway guys we've come to the end of this video if you like this video please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up like the video subscribe share the video with your friends share the video with your family thank you guys for always supporting me i'll see you all in my next video Bye.